We drove 533 miles from St. Augustine to Great Smoky Mountains National Park, stopping for a night in Savannah, camping at Skidaway State Park. We spent two rain-interrupted days in Great Smoky Mountains National Park where we camped at the Smokemont Campground. We did manage to get in some activities. We drove the picturesque Newfound Gap Road, toured Cades Cove, hiked Laurel Falls, and got views of nothing at Klingman's Dome. All right, we have arrived at Great Smoky Mountains National Park, our second national park of the trip. Cades Cove is 30 miles from Sugarland Visitor Center on the Little River George Road. The trip will take you about one hour, but the drive is a scenic one, so you won't get bored. Cades Cove has 11 mile one way loop road that circles the cove. There are many pullouts along the way that allow you to see wildlife, the historic buildings that are scattered around the cove. For us, the highlight were working gristmill and spotting wildlife. Even with the rain, we managed to spot some deer. After finishing off at Cades Cove, we headed to Laurel Falls, stopping at the sinks along the way, accessed via a pullout. Okay, we are now on the Laurel Falls Trail in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's a very popular trail, the car park is full, we have to park right down the road, but we're here and we're on the trail. Laurel Falls is a spectacular two-tier waterfall located a few miles away from the Sugarlands Visitor Center. The waterfall is quite popular and can be hard to find a park. You'll need to hike 2.6 miles out and back and it takes about one to two hours to complete. The hike is paved the whole way and takes you through lush green forest with some spots where you can get some mountain views. We really enjoyed this hike and it is popular for a reason.
Hello. Back at our campsite at Smokemont Campground, there is a short three quarter mile loop hike, the Smokemont Nature Trail, that takes you around a small mountain and a couple of nice river crossings. Newfound Gap Road is a 31-mile stretch of road that winds its way through Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Along the way there are many scenic views, waterfalls, the hike for you to take. Unfortunately for us, the poor weather prevented us from getting the epic views or any views at all. We drove out to Klingman's Dome, another popular site at the park. It is the highest point in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. At the summit there is an observation tower that gives you 360 degree views of the park. There is a very steep 0.5 mile hike to access the observation point. It is well worth the effort even if the views are obscured by clouds like it was for us. Not salty at all. So we are now walking up to the top of Klingman's Dome. It's about a half mile hike. It's all uphill. And hopefully we have some good views at the top to show you. Here's the top view of Klingman's Dome. We have a view of nothing. 